Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're going to be installing the game called Bastion and why this is important for the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's get started. Before we begin, I do want to announce that my friend and I created a gaming channel called Pandemic Playground, which I'll leave a link in the description below. And we're interested in playing survival and simulation type games, games that kind of make you think. And we are now entering our third episode of our Wild 8 series, and we're going to start solo series of our own on that channel as well soon. So we're going to have a lot more content. So be sure to subscribe, check out the channel, and be sure to like some of the videos. I also want to thank Pi Labs for making this video possible as well. He's actually the one behind all this where he's discovering what games work, what games don't, and he's trying to make a lot of games work for the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to his channel. And also, the libraries that we're gonna be using on this video is also compiled by him. You could compile it on your own, but it's much easier just to use his library. While I say this game is actually very important, it's not actually the game itself, but the engine that it's on. It's actually using XNA, or you could say now FNA, which is also compatible with mono games. Now mono games and FAN, FNA has been you know, competing for the latter for the longest time, but then again, mono games is actually, uh, you could say an extension or a branch off of XNA and so is FNA. So it, it basically is the same coding, just different API. Correct me if I'm wrong on that because I haven't coded in XNA. I, I just know it's C-sharp and they're very, very similar. But because of this, we're actually able to play a lot of the XNA or FNA games that are available now, like the game we're gonna be playing, which is Bastion. Uh, Hyper Life Drifter might be possible. Celeste, uh, Straw Valley. There's, there's a whole bunch of XNA games that are out that is playable through Raspberry Pi. And be sure to check out Pi Labs' channel because he's been previewing and testing a lot of the games that are XNA compatible. And along with a lot of other games that are not like Diablo 2, Starcraft, and not such. To get into it, uh, I am actually using the Raspberry Pi 4 with four gigs of RAM. And if you notice that my desktop looks a little bit different, that's because I did some custom work to it. So I'll, I kinda, I'll, I'll put a time lapse right here to show you guys real quick. Now, um, the only thing I did change was the theming. I'm using Arc Darker Theme, which you could actually get from Genome Looks, Gnome Looks, and also um, Open Box with Arc Darker Theme. Icons and everything, I kept the same. I haven't changed that other than the uh, application menu. And what you see on the desktop is my Conky script. And you could get that off my GitHub repository. And that's basically it. I kept the styling almost the same, kept the darker theme. Looks really good. And I will be making a video on this. Uh, that's why I have this time lapse on step to step guide on how to change this desktop to something like this or something that you would like. Back to what we were doing. On the description down below, I will have a couple of things, actually almost like a step to step, and I will post it on my website as well as a walkthrough. But first, you have to download two files. One is called Misa, uh, something that Pi Labs compiled, which is the graphic card drivers for the Raspberry Pi, and Monolibs, which is all the FNA and uh, mojo shaders and everything everything that you need to compile to get the xna games going or fna games going so once you download these two which is down in the description below you're gonna have to extract everything to a folder called misa m-e-s-a that's why i just did it to the home pi and then i made a folder called misa and then i just had everything in there to include lib and share if i go into that you're gonna see that there's three files in here now, once you're done extracting the 3D library, the next thing you would have to extract is the monolib. Now, these files all go inside the Misa lib folder right here. So you're gonna see that I have the extraction right here, fna.dnl, fna.dll.config. It's all in the same spot over here in your home Pi Misa lib, ARM, Linux. I don't even know how to say this word. I really don't. But yeah, that. Once you're done with that, that's the hard, that's the easy process. You're, you're done installing the pre-compiled libraries that Pi Lab offered. Next thing we have to do is actually enter the terminal and install two programs. You have to do sudo app install mono complete. And the next one is inno extract. Now, Mono Complete will install the complete library for Mono, and INNO Extract will actually install a utility where you can extract executable files that you download, say, from GOG. Oh, on top of this, you do have to own the game that is DRM free. So if you have the game on Steam, it's not going to work because that requires a DRM and we can't install Steam. But if you got it from GOG or something like that where it's DRM free, 
yeah, you could actually extract it and install it and play from here. So that's another crevice just for the game that I'm playing. Uh, some other games like Doom 3, I downloaded that from Steam, but it was DRM free. So that worked. Now, once you're done installing these two, which I already have pre-installed, first thing you need to do is download the EXE. For me, I'm testing out the Bastion. So I actually have the Bastion. I made a temp folder right over here. And there's an executable called uh, setup bastion 1.5.exe, right? Now you have to move this to its own folder. So for me, I moved it to temp. I can move it to bastion. I can move it to any folder that I want to, depending on what the game is, and move it to the root of that folder. So in my case, I would be cd home slash pi slash temp. And then in the temp folder, I would actually have to type inno extract bastion. Oh, no, setup bastion 1.5.exe, etc. etc. As soon as I hit enter on this, it's gonna try to extract everything. And this does take about 10 minutes or so. Now I'm gonna cancel this out because I already have everything extracted, and hopefully it didn't break my game. But now that everything is extracted, you are almost done it's it's that simple now there is a long string because you have to be able to point all the files to the libraries that you extracted so I'm gonna I made a little script called start.sh you could do the same uh, in it the contents in it is bin.sh and this is the long string itself now you could actually just type this as a command on the same running folder and it should just work like that. But let me explain this a little bit. So you have the library path, which will tell you where all the libraries are for uh, FNA and all that stuff. The libgr drivers, which is home, pi, misa, lib, arm, and then DRI, that's the drivers for your graphic card. GMB drivers as well, and it's gonna be in home, pi, misa, and then lib. Now, after you're done telling where all the libraries are, you would have to execute the program called mono and mono will execute the program called bastion.exe and then i got a little bit more parameters at the end telling it what resolution it should be now if you're going to do this for another game like straw valley or celeste or any other type of game that are xna basically you would have to type the same thing on top then mono and then whatever that game is say like well i try to get terrier to work but terrier has some it, it didn't so yeah, it would be like anything else, like Terrier or, well, not Terrier, but uh, Straw Valley or whatever the executable will be. Once you execute this, it will run its graphic card drivers and then run the software itself. So I'm gonna hit enter on this, you're gonna see. Now, be sure to actually overclock your graphic card to 600 because the graphic card on the Raspberry Pi is very slow and it really has a high demand for it. And two, uh, make sure that it's, um, running on a low enough resolution because on a 1080 screen it really doesn't do that well because these games are made for more powerful computers now i do have the raspberry pi on stock clock and if you want load times to be a little bit faster you could overclock it to two gigahertz just make sure you have a heat sink on there and there we have it i could just start the game and everything runs pretty good i ha i do have a save mode because i tested it out obviously before i did this but yeah, these load times and these things right here that you see, uh, it could be a lot faster once you overclock it to two gigahertz, but I just left it as default because I already overclocked the graphic card and I don't want the unnecessary heat. So it's okay for the load times. It's more graphic card intensive than it is really CPU intensive. What I do like about this game is that it narrates everything I do. store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion. Look at this. So beautiful. Go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as if I don't have rolling yet. He don't stop to wonder why. Oh man, this is such Finds a good his game. lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. My hammer. He sees what's left of the rippling wall. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. Can I break that? Nope. Nice. That's a survivor. No Ooh, man. first boss. It's a gas fella. 
forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. Evading also hits people. An old repeater falls out of the sky. And nice, got my weapon. Gods, but it'll have to do. And then oh. he falls to his death. <laughs> and then he falls to his death. Kids worked up quite a thirst. Gotta be really careful about so this. That fountain looks Grab really some fountain like. heal. Sometimes you just need a drink. You guys never played this game? This is actually a very fun game, and it takes about like I think seven or eight hours to beat. And if you're speeding through it, you could probably get it done a little bit quicker. But it's it's a really fun game. Actually, no, no one this way. What is this? Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fans here. Oh, healing things. Nice. Well, that's it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it in the comments below. Now, if you want to request for games that you haven't seen out already or uh, you do want to request a tutorial from uh, Pi Labs. You can always leave a comment down on his videos. And we're in a collaborative state right now where if a game that a lot of people are requesting, I will make a tutorial for him. Uh, and, and again, I have direct contact with him. So it, it is fine between us doing this. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.